everyone, this is Joao from CanHub. And in this video, I will show you how to easily draw the structure of the brachial plexus. Now, every time you look at an image of a brachial plexus, you probably feel like running out of the room. And when your anatomy instructor points at a nerve in the brachial plexus and asks you to identify it, all you can see is a bowl of spaghetti sitting in front of you. So my goal here is to simplify the brachial plexus for you so you can memorize it in no time. Before I show you how to draw it, I think it would be great to take a minute and review the anatomy of the brachial plexus. I will do this. I will ask Nicole to quickly run us through the structure of the brachial plexus. Here you can see an illustration of the brachial plexus, which is formed by roots arising from the anterior rami of spinal nerves C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. These then form three trunks, a superior trunk, a middle trunk and an inferior trunk. Trunks then form two divisions, an anterior division and a posterior division. And then three chords, a lateral chord, a medial chord and a posterior chord. Before finally terminating in five primary branches, the musculocutaneous nerve, the axillary nerve, the median nerve, the radial nerve and the ulnar nerve. Thanks, Nicole, for the introduction. It is now time for us to take the structure of the brachial plexus and make it simple. So we are now ready to get our artistic groove on. I have some of my things here ready to show you how to create a simplified image of the brachial plexus. So to do that, I'm going to be using this, uh, this uh, type of sheet here, which allows me to then easily create some lines, which is what we want. And I'm going to be using a pencil here just to outline what I want to, to do first before I go in and use my markers. I know I'm a little bit of an insecure artist because I need to always use pencil first to see where I'm going and then use something more permanent like marker. So let's get into this. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is creating some outline here of where I want the different um, parts of the brachial plexus to go. So now I have five parts here for my brachial plexus, one for roots, one for trunks, divisions, cords, and then the branches. And keep in mind that here I'm just going to be covering the main branches of the brachial plexus. This is definitely very helpful. Here are the lines. I think it's important to just quickly outline what's going to happen. This is helpful to just have a light outline of where you want things to go. All right. Now that you have these outlines, we should be more or less ready to to start drawing our brachial plexus. And this is the, the fun part here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna start from here and count then one, two, three, four, five, six. So six squares, then one, two, three, four. Uh, just to get more or less uh, some sense of where I'm going to be drawing things. Here on the side, I'm going to count one, two, three. Here as well, down, I'm going to count from here up. One, two, three. So here we are ready to start putting our roots in. And this is the easy part. All we have to do is then unite the first two here and this one as well, unite these two, and then draw a line here in the middle. First part for my roots, you can see done, dusted. Now what you're going to do is Continue here from this part of the root and stretch all the way down to branches. You're going to do the same thing here. So you're going to continue on all the way down to the end here on branches. Now here in the middle, what we're going to be doing is then just stretching all the way, but we're going to be stopping at cords. So here in the middle, we only go all the way to cords. And you can see that our brachial plexus is taking some shape. We have the roots in. Let me tell you that at this point, we can forget all about 
the trunks and the cords so you can leave them as they are you don't have to do anything at this point and what you need to do is you're going to draw a cross here in this first square and then on the square below what we're going to be doing is from here the center we're going to draw one line back so half a cross here and we are done with the visions again i as i mentioned before the cords are done so we can move forward onto the branches we already have two branches here as you can see one at the top and one at the bottom so now this is just a fun drawing we're going to start here in the middle and in the middle this point here we're going to draw two branches that go halfway to here then another one that goes also all the way to here halfway so this one goes from here all the way to the center and from here all the way to the center so we're drawing this shape all right so on the branches you can see this is the part where it's a little bit trickier but you can see that all we did was to create one shape that goes all the way is pointing to the right and another shape that is pointing to the left and they cross to form these four-sided shape here. Oh, one thing, one quick trick to remember how to write then the order of the roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. What you can do is use a mnemonic. Yes, mnemonics are a great way to can remember these structures easily. And you can do rugby teams don't cover bruises for roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches, respectively. Now that we have the shape in in um, in pencil, I think it's safe to say that we can go in and just add here some color. I'm going to be adding the marker. So as you can see, we have our beautiful brachial plexus now in blue marker. What I want to add here is a bit of a distinction that is important to, to know between the different divisions. So what I'll do is add here black marker to this top line and this one here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we want some distinction between this division here, which is the anterior division of the brachial plexus, and this division here, which is the posterior division. So now it is time for us to label our structures here. I'm just going to use a pen here. And the first structures we're going to be labeling then are our roots. And we start then from root, so C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. So we have our roots here for the brachial plexus. It is time to then label here our trunks. And we have a superior trunk, a middle trunk, and an inferior trunk. Like I mentioned here before, the black lines here are representing the anterior division while these here, these blue lines are representing then the posterior division. Just remember, an easy way to remember this is that we start from, let's say superior or front. So superior, anterior, middle, in the middle, as you can see, and then inferior and posterior. As for the chords, let's continue on. Let's say that this one here is the posterior chord. We'll start from the mi middle one, the posterior cord, which happens to be in the middle. And then this one here is on the side. So it's going to be the lateral cord. And this one is going to be medial in the body. So we're going to say the medial cord. And it's time for us to then label our branches, starting at the top with the muscle low cutaneous below we have the axillary nerve and then here in the middle it's easy to remember middle median so we have the median nerve then we have the radial and ulnar nerves 
And that was it. We finished drawing our image of the brachial plexus. As you can see, hope I was able to just simplify it. Uh, this is a very easy drawing to make and hopefully you'll find even other creative ways to produce your own simplified version of this complex structure that is the brachial plexus. And that is it. I have finished the drawing of the brachial plexus. Hopefully this will help you remember the complex structure of uh, the brachial plexus. To learn more details about uh, the anatomy of the brachial plexus, I will leave a link in the video description to our study unit, which covers everything you need to know about uh, this structure with a fun video, interactive quiz, complete articles, and an atlas section. And let us know in the comments, what's your favorite way to learn complex structures like the brachial plexus? Remember to like the video to let us know if you want to see more of these on the channel and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next upload. I will see you next time.